So, 2015, Datan Riesenheim is the winner. Yeah. Datan, first of all, congratulations because an amazing race. Thank you. Tell us about the race. What happened during the race? How developed the race? Do the, you do the race went out uh, a little slow because uh, we stood on the starting line for a very long time, so it was cold. And then uh, Miyuchi took it a little fast, and so uh, I just tried to stay right there push the pace a little bit in the middle to try to break it up a little and then uh, Lolly took he uh, pushed it very hard on the fourth lap so I just stayed close and then when I got to the turns I tried to push it very hard around every turn with my colleague here we speak up during the race we speak we tell the consideration you look at like very easy every lap but very easy very relaxed a very a very way to run so and every lap and the every lap you gave us the the sensation you could be able to go uh, to go away from the other guys starting from the front not from the back yeah is it true you you feel so easy have you felt so easy every moment of the race uh, no <laughs> uh, I felt pretty good but um, I really have only done like five workouts so I didn't know what to expect so I tried to just keep the like a tempo run pace and so I have only done maybe two intervals so I just had to try to uh, try to you know wait to the last lap really and uh, when I decided to go uh, Lali stayed fairly close so I just always had to make sure I had one more gear though. Lali give some fear to you in last lap you have some fear during the last lap about Lali from Lali? Uh, not uh, too much but uh, I didn't feel great either I felt I only got here two days ago three days ago so I felt very tired uh, <laughs> Like I needed more coffee, so I uh, so I tried to clear my brain and uh, make sure I was ready when he went. In your opinion, you like it? It's not the first time, but you like it the cross country in Italy. What uh, an opinion to run a cross country here in Italy? People have cheered you so much. Uh, I saw during the during the course. It was very fun. Uh, it's good when there's a good crowd, uh, good fans who appreciate it. And this race has very old, a lot of tradition. Very good uh, champions in the past. Gabriel Selassie, Kenanisa Bikili. So now I get to add Nathan Ritzenheim to the list. It's a very good good group to be with. Another question. What is, in your opinion, the big difference to run a cross country in NCAA in America and the cross country in Europe? Which are the most, uh, the most big differences you notice? The biggest difference, uh, the small loops. So the two, two kilometer loops. Yeah, you go over the little, uh, little bumps a lot. A lot of really sharp turns. But it is very, it's very fun. It's uh, It's kind of like a mix between track and cross country, and so I like it because it's very good for me. I, I change gears well, and uh, this kind of course suits me well. And now, after Oregon, after closing Oregon Project Experience, you are back in Michigan to your family, yes. to your child, to your children. You told me yesterday. Now, what are in mind of uh, that reason? I marathon again next year. Yes, uh, hopefully the Olympic trials and the marathon is only about uh, just over one year away. So, if I can make a fourth Olympic team, very few Americans have made four uh, Olympic teams. So. I feel good again and uh, it's just nice to be healthy after uh, 2014, put that in the past and hopefully do well for 2015 and 2016. Thank you very much and good luck for Edinburgh All now. Right, thank you.